Coleman Shelton has been the starting center of the Los Angeles Rams over the past couple of seasons. And yesterday, Ryan Poles signed him to a one-year contract. And today, we're going to talk about this guy's tape and why I think he could be the starting center of the Chicago Bears for the next season. Shelton's a pretty good football player. He's pretty smart. He's long. He's lengthy. He definitely has upside. And he's only 28 years old. And one of the things you'll notice on tape is that this guy is one of those type of guys that's a leader. He's one of those guys that makes sure people understand their assignments. He's one of those guys that understands blocking angles. He understands technique. He's a good processor. And he's definitely one of those guys that you want on your team. If you're not 100% sure who your starting center is going to be, Shelton's one of those guys that could be a very good option. Now, long term, I'm not sure if Shelton will be the guy for the Bears. I know it's a one-year contract, so he'll at least be there for one season. But one of the things you'll notice on tape with Shelton right away uh, is the way he uses his hands, the way he uses blocking angles, uh, the way he just kind of does things, right? And uh, this is a really good example of kind of what you'll see on tape. So uh, he's going to come out of his stance. He's going to initially go towards his left. Uh, and this is most likely by design. But as he starts going to his left, you'll see 34. The inside linebacker starts going to this same side. And Shelton's going to quickly change direction, and he's going to end up getting to the right side of number 34. So you'll see that right here. And to me, this is just perfect. The way he ends up blocking this is exactly how you want to do it. Now keep an eye on the left hand of Shelton. He's going to snatch it down. He's going to break the contact. He understands that he does not have leverage when this linebacker has the right arm inside of him. When the linebacker has the long arm here attached to that center, the center does not have leverage. So you got to break the contact, and Shelton does. And then he gets back, readjusts, lines up with the linebacker. It is a pretty good job sticking with him, but these are the little things that you'll see on Shelton's tape. I do want to also state this. There are definitely some negative things on tape with Shelton, and we'll get into those towards the end of this video. It's not a, you know, it's not crazy negative, but there's definitely things on tape, right? So one of the things you'll notice right away, Shelton is 6'4". So generally speaking, when he gets into guys, he's able to really lift guys up. He's able to extend out and he's able to do things that you would see from a center that's a little bit longer, a little bit bigger. And he'll move people, right? He'll definitely be able to move people at the point of attack. But at the same time, he has very good feet. He has good reachability and he plays with good technique, right? And here's another good example of one of the things he knows how to do. So on this one here, he has a reach block on the one technique defense tackle here. And you'll see he's going to use the rip technique. He's going to also snatch down. All right. So this is a great job right there to hold on to number 94. 94 is a two down player. He only comes in here to really play the run. So Shelton kind of understands that 94 is not going to give him the angle. That's 100% this guy's responsibility. Do not allow the center guard or whoever it is to reach. Do not let them down block you without giving a push or whatever it is against the run specifically. I like the technique he uses to attack this. It's a great job to be able to swat down, get your arm in there, hold on to number 94, which allows the running back to cut back within this play. And this play ends up popping for 12 yards. That's a really, really good job by Shelton. So you're going to get another zone run here. You're going to get a double on Lawrence, and then the center is expected to reach on the zone run to the left of your screen, and he does a pretty good job being able to hold the block. And you'll see the running back's able to pick up 28 yards on this one. Of course, he scores the touchdown, so it's just a really, really nice job. But once again, you know, you see Shelton just doing what you'd expect out of your starting center, you know, just doing your job, being able to hold the ground. Uh, I don't think Shelton's a top five or six center in the NFL, but he's a good football player. And sometimes you just need guys that are good football players. But right? the Bears have obviously made a ton of investments this offseason, and they made investments in last offseason and they're going into next season with a completely different roster right you got so many different pieces that you're adding and with that you can't always invest as high as you may want in a center right i know a lot of bears fans want jackson powers johnson uh, he's gonna probably go in the top 18 to 21 picks i don't see him getting outside of the first round with that if it's not powers johnson every other center is most likely going to be a third to fifth round pick there's one center that may end up going in the second round, but generally speaking, centers aren't valued that high, and it's because of guys like Coleman Shelton. It's because of guys like Andre James. It's because of these centers that most people have no idea who they are, but they're good football players, and they're good enough that you can win with these guys. And in Coleman Shelton's example, I think he can definitely be the starting center for the Bears, and that doesn't mean they won't necessarily draft a guy. 
because he can still draft the center in let's say round three or four. He can sit for one year, learn the calls, which are oftentimes different from college to the NFL, get used to the game speed, and then come into year two and just kind of take over from that point. Now I want to talk about Shelton's pass protection a little bit. He's pretty good. I think he's definitely a better run blocker than he is a pass blocker, but he's a pretty good pass blocker specifically because he's smart. He processes really, really well. He's smart. You can see all those different things. Uh, plus, he knows protection calls really well. And I think that part of a Sanders game is sometimes underrated. You know, sometimes you can watch Sanders in the NFL and they'll call something and it just doesn't kind of make sense. Uh, and, you know, a quarterback's not oftentimes changing the protection calls, right? He may call something early on. Uh, but if a change is made and something happens where you get two defensive tackles over to the right side, well, as a center, you got to be able to make those calls and you got to be able to make the block, right? So within this one, watch the left guard end up taking the one technique to the right side of the center. And the center has to cross his face, the one technique's face specifically, has to cross his face and get over to the right because they got to make sure that if there's a blitzing guy coming, you guys can't see him, but he's right off the right edge. You got to make sure you have the numbers to that side. So again, there's so many little things that kind of go with playing center in the NFL. This guy's very smart. He understands those things. Now, here's another example. So on this one, you're going to bring two linebackers to the line of scrimmage. You still got the four defensive linemen as well. So you got six guys coming and there's only five offensive linemen. So they got to figure out how the running back's going to get involved within this protection call. So in this instance, what's going to end up happening is they're going to slide to the left. And the running back has to cross over here and he has to pick up number 51. But the slide is to the left. So watch the center with the slide to the left and that's the left of your screen. Watch him how quickly he processes that the linebacker actually ended up dropping off. You see him absolutely quickly recognize that. Number 19 drops off and look at how fast he's able to switch over here. Ends up picking up number 97 and just kind of helps kind of get over to that side. Uh, the left guard here doesn't do that good of a job here. I think that's a rookie left guard. A left guard should have let 97 go once he recognized the linebacker drops off. And you see that 19 drops off because you get a slot corner blitzing off the edge. Uh, but regardless, quarterback's going to throw it hot anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, but again, to me, right, this is a good job by the center to be able to process, right? He's smart. He's able to tell the offensive lineman what they need to do. The running back's in tune with the offensive line. He's able to switch from one guy to the next. And really, you see how fast it actually happens when you watch it in real time. All right? In slow motion, you can't really tell. But in real time, you see how quickly he's able to change from one side to the next. Now, if you guys are asking me, do I think Coleman Shelton is the long-term center for the Bears? I'm going to say no. And this isn't a knock on him. Again, I think he's a good football player. I think he's a center that you can definitely win with. Uh, but for me, when I look at centers, one of the key things that you have to do as a center is you have to be able to hold your ground right in the middle of the pocket, especially against pass pro. Uh, and this play right here is a really good example. If you guys keep an eye on the center here, and I know it's going to be a little hard. I'll slow it down. Watch him just kind of get pushed back. Now, the, the nose guard here is two gapping this. So he's going to watch for the run first. So play action. As soon as he recognizes that this is an actual pass and he starts actually pushing the center back. Look at the center and give up ground on this one. To me, you can't have that. As a center, you cannot get pushed back. And this is the one thing you'll see with Coleman Shelton on tape. And this is the one knock I personally have on Shelton. And I'll show you guys a couple more examples. Here's another example. He's going to be going up against a nose guard. The guy's going to just straight up bull rush him right back into the quarterback. He doesn't technically give up the sack. But again, to me, the quarterback's checking this off because he feels that pressure. The quarterback wants to push the ball downfield. These plays are not designed to be check, check downs to the running back or check downs to the tight end or whatever it is, right? Uh, but he checks it down because you get that pressure. You feel it a little bit. Uh, and again, to me, this is the one big knock that I have with Shelton. And don't get me wrong. The guy's very smart. He's very, very solid from a technique standpoint. Even in pass pro, he's very good when it comes to his technique. And even when it comes to games and those type of things, linebackers step up. He's very quick with being able to pick all those things up. But I would need him to absolutely improve his strength uh, if he wanted to be a long-term starting center for the Bears. Uh, honestly, I think the smart thing to do is honestly just draft the center. There's so many good centers, and it doesn't have to be Paris Johnson. I know he's the best center. Paris Johnson is a special football player. He's Quentin Nelson of centers. Keep in mind, Quentin Nelson was like the sixth or seventh overall pick. I know Paris Johnson's play centers. It's a devalued position, but still, he's an absolute difference maker. One of the best center prospects we've seen in a long time. 
Uh, but there's still guys out there that you can still draft in, you know, rounds three, four, and five. There's probably six or seven starting caliber centers coming out of this class. If you give them a year to develop, and I think that's Ryan Pohl's strategy. Uh, I've stated this before. I'll state it again. Do not doubt Ryan Pohl's. He is one of the best general managers in the NFL. I think it's very, very clear based off of the guys he brings in, the guys he ultimately finds, guys that he ends up trading for. And we saw a trade for Ryan Bates. Uh, maybe Bates and Shelton compete for the starting center role regardless i think this is a very solid pickup you can see the upside with shelton you can see the upside with a guy like bates they're both good smart football players and i think they could help a rookie develop i really do so with that being stated i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did consider subscribing we'll be covering the bears as uh, we kind of go forward i will get into some other free agency guys that they ultimately end up bringing in We'll definitely be covering the draft as they go through the draft process. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time with another video.